Any time a vaccine is being transported or stored, it has to be kept at the right temperature. Usually, the right temperature for vaccines is 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. One of the ways to know that a vaccine has been kept at the right temperature is to monitor and record refrigerated temperatures twice every day. In this video, we will show you how to interpret the information you might see on a fridge tag so you can better monitor vaccine temperatures. There are four tasks you must be able to do on your fridge tag. Read the current temperature. Find the highest and lowest temperatures recorded for the day. Determine whether any temperature alarms have been triggered and when. Recognize when you need a new device. So, let us start with the first of these tasks, reading the current temperature on your fridge tag. This is a fridge tag device. To find the current refrigerator temperature, you look here, on the right side of the display. The second important task is to find the highest and lowest temperatures for the day. To do that, you will use the read button. Start by pressing the read button once. At the top of the display, you will see a flashing up arrow appear. The flashing arrow is a sign that you are looking at the highest temperature of the day. In the center of the display, you will see the amount of time that recorded refrigerator temperatures were above 8 degrees Celsius today. Press the read button again. On the top of the display, now you should see a flashing down arrow appear. The flashing arrow is a sign that you're looking at the lowest temperature of the day. In the center of the display, you will see the amount of time that refrigerator temperatures were below negative 0.5 degrees Celsius today. You can keep pressing the read button to see high and low temperatures, going back day by day for the previous 29 days. The flashing arrow at the top of the display will show you which day's temperatures you are looking at. Let us do a temperature reading. On this fridge tag, the current temperature is 5.6 degrees Celsius, which is within an acceptable range. If we push the read button once, we see that the highest temperature today was 7.9 degrees Celsius. Here, you will notice that the display shows a zero. What do you think this means? Remember that this number shows you the amount of time that refrigerator temperatures were too high today. Though temperatures went as high as 7.9 degrees Celsius today, this is still a fine temperature for the vaccines stored in this refrigerator. 7.9 degrees Celsius is not considered too high. So, the fridge tag is telling you that refrigerator temperatures were too high for zero minutes. In other words, they were never too high. If we push the read button again, we see that the lowest temperature today was 2.9 degrees Celsius. Again, you will notice that the time reading is zero, indicating that temperatures were never too low. The next task is to determine whether any temperature alarms have been triggered and when. What does it mean when a fridge tag shows an alarm? A fridge tag is set to detect any temperatures that go too high or too low for too long of a period. If temperatures do go too high or too low for too long of a period, an alarm will appear on the display of the fridge tag. Typically, an alarm will be triggered if refrigerator temperatures fall to negative 0.5 degrees Celsius or below for 60 minutes, or if the temperature exceeds 8 degrees Celsius for a continuous period of at least 10 hours. To check for alarms, let us return to the main display. On the left, you will see a check or an X to indicate whether an alarm has been triggered recently. A check means everything is okay. 
If you see an X on screen, you may also see a warning symbol beside it. And if this happens, the first thing you should do is find out more about this alarm. First, press the read button to find out whether this is a heat or freeze alarm. An arrow at the top of the display screen will be pointing up to indicate a heat alarm or pointing down to indicate a freeze alarm. The arrow is positioned to show you which day the alarm occurred on. The date and time of the alarm will appear in the center of your screen. Press the read button again to see more details about this alarm, such as the lowest or highest temperature recorded during the alarm, and the amount of time that temperatures were outside of the acceptable temperature range. After you have looked at all of the details for a particular alarm, the warning symbol will disappear. Let us practice. On this fridge tag, we can see that there has been an alarm. When we press the read button, we see an arrow pointing down, which means that this alarm is due to low temperatures. The arrow is under the word yesterday, so we know when the alarm occurred. We can also see the date and time of the alarm here. It looks like this alarm occurred yesterday at 10.30 p.m. Now, if we press the read button again, we see that the lowest recorded temperature was negative 1.1 degrees Celsius, and that temperatures were too low for one hour and 35 minutes. Finally, the last important task is to recognize when you need a new device. If you see a symbol on the screen of your device that looks like this, it means the battery in your device is running low. And that means you need to request a new device right away, since you cannot replace the battery in a fridge tag. By performing these four important tasks every day, you will be able to better monitor temperatures in your vaccine refrigerator.